accelerator. It's a nifty tool that really helps us with our arm circle plane, as well as some warm up, warming up of the shoulder, and as well as some arm speed. All right. So we want an arm circle to stay above the power line and not take any detours. So just looking at this pole, the arm should basically do a straight around circle. Not up swinging off line in either direction and definitely not down swinging off line in either direction. Going to lose speed, going to lose accuracy if we get the arm plane off line. So with the accelerator, it has a little bit of weight to it and it helps lengthen and pull out the arm for a nice long arm circle. It's good for warm ups. And once you're warmed up, you can actually do a few really fast arm circles with it to help with arm speed. So you put your hand through the loop, tighten the ball so it's comfortable, get your normal grip, let your arm hang nice and relaxed. We're in our stride position, all right, head forward, glove hand up, and let's do a few of our arm circles. We do continuous arm circles. Notice it goes up in front, directly at our target, and the catcher can see the accelerator on the downswing. You want to make sure they're not getting back behind their body. All right, you can relax. So that's kind of the warm-up speed that Brittany just did, and that's not a bad idea. But once you're warmed up, I'd rather see some fast circles out of it. Now, I don't think the shoulder likes to stay in a maxed out position long, a maxed out speed very long. So we're just going to do two warm-ups, four fast, and then two to decelerate. All right, as you do it, make sure your plane of your circle is straight ahead. Okay, here we go. One, two, hit it. One, two, three, four, two to slow down. All right, good, not bad. So I have found this particularly useful for kids that have bad planes, bad arm planes. Um, they just sort of come up with a very unnatural circle. Kids will come up either, either out to the right or across their body, and then we get this huge elbow bend here, and this causes a lot of problems. I'm off plane. Elbow bend that's relaxed is good, yet the arm stays on line. We can live with that. It's when there's so much bend that it crosses the head, and you'll see this thing across the head that we have trouble. What happens is we get some problems in the back. We get back behind our back, and the kids are toast that get too far back behind them. So I really have seen this help those kids learn a better arm plane. All right, so at first they'll have a rather bent arm, and then they will start feeling the lengthened out arm in a much prettier circle. Um, with these kids, you can use the old handy noodle. You can put the noodle directly in front of them and bring the accelerator up. They've got to hit it on the way up to make sure the arm is long and straight on the way up. So let's do a few circles and hit this. Okay, so have your glove hand up. All right, hit it. There you go. Good, so Brittany is straight ahead. We can next put the noodle right above their head. For the kids that bend the elbow too much, the accelerator is going to go with the hand and shoot across their head and just be a pretty ugly looking circle to look at. Plus, they'll hit my noodle. All right, let's watch Brittany go around smooth. All right, pretty. On kids that get back behind their back incorrectly, sometimes put a karate chop on their shoulder. This helps prevent, come on up, helps prevent the arm going back through here, which is when the accelerator disappears from your view. So instead, I put a little karate chop on them, helping encourage the arm to stay within our sight and in the correct plane. All right, I'm going to put a karate chop on Brittany. All right, and there's a pretty arm plane. So, the accelerator, helping with arm speed, helping to correct and memorize perfect arm circle planes.